Okay. Right. So we're here with Monty Heron at the uh, 2016 Grand Ron Contest Pow Wow. How's the Pow Wow been treating you so far? Awesome. Just got done doing a crow hop and two sneak ups, so I'm a little gassed at the moment. That's okay. Definitely need to go find some water soon, but okay. hey, holla out to the tribe from the powwow. It's awesome to be here. It's been one of the best powwows yet. People are really, really nice. It's been awesome. There haven't been any problems here in the powwow grounds, and this is, you know, our big time of the year to shine to people from all over Turtle Island, so this is really cool. Have a lot of people been hitting you up and introducing themselves to you? Yes, indeed. That's yeah. another thing. I, I know I've mentioned it online, but one of the most humbling and most positive experiences about this whole campaign is the number of travel members that I've gotten to meet and say hello to and get to know, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's been really great. What are some of the issues people are asking you about or wanting to talk about? Um, probably the number one issue is enrollment. The appellate decision? It, yeah, well, no, just not. Just enrollment the way it stood even before the court sided with the people who have been disenrolled and everybody by now knows how I feel about this you know I, it's just wrong we don't need to be in the business of kicking tribal members out that's just not right it's uh, there's just something very decidedly non-native about that in a very visceral place for me um, we don't need to do any of the government's work to, to exterminate our people they've been trying for 200 years so far they haven't succeeded We'll see. <laughs> so you were happy with the decision, yeah? I'm very happy with the decision. Happy, I'm good. thrilled with the decision. I am one of the people who's been calling and hounding counsel to emergency reinstate them. If you can emergency disenroll people, then you can emergency re-enroll them. And that's the right thing to do. So, we'll see. Yeah. Well, what other issues have people wanted to talk to you about so far? Uh, Cowlitz. I mean, if I had to pick like a top three, top three is enrollment. The enrollment issues that all these amendments and the disenrollments and everything have produced and then Cowlitz but Cowlitz is usually immediately followed with a you know quit fighting them quit wasting money fighting them and just focus on our economic development because we actually haven't been focused on that and we need to be so it's something you know we need to I think what a lot of tribal members are saying is let's not focus or dwell on the fact that we may take a hit, instead just focus on what can we do. It, it's people coming from a positive place. What can we do for ourselves? Not fight other people. What can we do for ourselves to get ahead? And I think that's where we really need to be focusing energy on. What can we do to diversify our portfolio and to maintain our self-sufficiency? That's what this is really about, is our, maintaining our self-sufficiency. And if we want to continue to offer the same level of services that we've been able to offer to tribal members, then we've got to figure out new ways to do that. And that's okay. We've been innovative in the past, and there's no reason why we can't be innovative in the future. Cool. I agree. I agree. Well, I want to get a full, full <laughs> shot of your regalia here. You made all this yourself? No. No? No. My, my regalia has been done in the most traditional way possible. I've made parts of it. And then my family has made all of the other parts. Well, that's... So my regalia has been made for me as like the vest and the aprons were my cousin Deets and that was given to me as an honor for getting my bachelor's degree. And that's what regalia traditionally is supposed to be. It's, it's, as it builds, it's supposed to be things that are given to you for honors. So what are you going to get for your master's degree then? Who knows? Huh? <laughs> Who knows? I, I get the privilege of borrowing this eagle bustle and fan whenever I want. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat. Thanks for chat. your time, Chris. No problem. It's always appreciated. Yeah.